and welcome to another edition of The Brash. Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and please share this video all over Facebook and Twitter. Huge updates and developments on Seth Rollins' injury. Dolph Ziggler's WWE career, is it really over? Major update on Randy Orton. The Raw ratings, all that contained in this one epic report. The match between The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler in a career versus title match at No Mercy comes at an interesting time, according to ringsidenews.com, because there is a rumor going around that Dolph Ziggler's contract actually expires with the company next month. At last word, Ziggler has not renewed his WWE contract, so No Mercy could legitimately be the last time Ziggler steps foot in a WWE ring. And I'll tell you what, there was a lot of passion and emotion behind what Ziggler was saying tonight on SmackDown Live. And I knew my viewers and subscribers were going to come to me and say, Sean, well, mostly on Facebook because truth be told, my YouTube, my, my views, my comments, people subscribe. And I've been stuck in a rut. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the future of my YouTube channel is. I don't even know if I'll be here tomorrow to tell you the truth. I, I, I don't know from one day to the next, I'm probably going to be let go off my contract because I'm not growing. I'm not expanding. Nothing's happening. I mean, I'm doing my stuff. I'm uploading. I'm putting out content. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, but nothing's adding up. Nothing's growing. Nothing's expanding. Nothing's exceeding. So I don't know. But what I do know is as long as I can stay here and as long as I am here, I will give you the newest rumors, news, and headlines in the WWE. But as it concerns Dolph Ziggler, I mean, what a career it's been. If this truly is it, and, you know, just like my YouTube channel has been in a rut and I've been stuck at 90,000 subscribers for eight months and I am not going anywhere. Nothing, nothing is happening. Ziggler... For some reason, something that looked like it was going to become something, when when something should have materialized, when he was a world champion, whether it was backstage politics, whether it was drama, whether it was injuries, whether there was another favorite, Ziggler always found himself on the outside looking in. But this may be uh, the most obvious time where it looks like Ziggler will be done. Now, you know Ziggler always goes in that match, whether it's for a title or not. And he gives off a performance. He is indeed the show off. No doubt about it. But ladies and gentlemen, has Dolph Ziggler's time finally come? What do you think? Should Ziggler stay? Should he go? We know that there's been rumors about Ziggler not being happy with his position in the WWE. And that he wants to pursue other goals and have other opportunities. So we're going to see what happens there. PW Torch reports that the rating for this Monday's Raw, which I did a video on, but there's an update to it. There is an update. And that's what I do here on Sean's Video Entertainment. No matter how bad my YouTube channel is, no matter how bad the ranking, the views, the comments, the likes, the dislikes is, I still give you the content. And I'm going to continue to give you content as long as I can remain on this website. PW Torch reports that the rating for this Monday's Raw was a 1.75, which is the lowest non-holiday week rating for the show in the second lowest rated show of all time. The previous non-holiday week low was a 1.78. The lowest rated Raw in history remains the 1996 Christmas week episode of Raw, December 23rd, 96, which garnered a 1.5 rating. And you know, the WWE's mentality is, oh, we're, well, we're going up against a debate. We're going up against football. So we'll just give this lackluster effort. We won't put much passion and time into it and... I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I, I don't know how the WWE can be so lackluster. You, you'd think the WWE would want... And, and, and once again, once again, this week, SmackDown trumped Raw. SmackDown was so much better than Raw. The delivery, the substance, the storylines, the scenarios, everything was so much better. In regards to Seth Rollins, there was fear that he was going to be gone from WWE from some 6 to 12 weeks. In regards to Seth Rollins being medically cleared to compete in the ring, because obviously we saw Rollins on Raw, but he was not wrestling. He was not in a wrestling capacity. Please share this video on Facebook and Twitter as well. The impression backstage is that Rollins will be able to get cleared soon. However, there was a fear at first, when the injury first happened, that Rollins could have been sidelined from anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks. WWE seems to have dodged a major bullet there. And I'll tell you what, especially after Seth Rollins just came back several weeks ago, and for that to happen would have been a nightmare. <laughs> you lose Seth Rollins, then, okay, then we go to the next guy. It's almost like the New England Patriots with the quarterback situation. There's an injury, there's sidelines, there's benching, there's trenching, there's, there's all these issues, and it, it's, it's just ridiculous now. Concerning the match between Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton at No Mercy, there is now speculation that a gimmick match will be thrown in to intensify the feud. So the scenario will be different from what we saw at Backlash. Rumors of a buried alive match. 
a Boiler Room Brawl in a last man standing match. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you will leave your comments and your feedback because all your comments are read, respected, and they never ref well, they, they could be refreshed because I could refresh the page and see new comments. But no, your comments, in all honesty, your comments to this channel is very important and crucial. Why? Because it's respected and, you know, I, I'm doing all I can. I, 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 I don't know. I'm kind of a loss for words about the status of my channel on YouTube. It's so bad that I could be let go off my contract. It's so bad. That's how bad it is. And uh, when push comes to shove, I want to stay on YouTube. I want to do this for, for my viewers and subscribers. But it, it's just so funny to me that when I do a video that's non-WWE related, when it has nothing to do with WWE, and I'm not even talking about drama and haters and trolls and all that. No, I'm just talking about a, a video outside of WWE. It gets more views. It gets more comments. It gets more likes and dislikes. It gets shared more. I, I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't know. I don't see the logic there. Uh, I, I mean, 90,000 subscribers, and I've been stuck at 90,000 for eight months now, but yet at ninety thousand, I should get I should get more than five comments. My views right now are in the hundreds when they should be in the thousands. I, I don't know what's going on. Call it whining, complaining, pissing, whatever it is. But I'm doing my part. I'm putting in the time and the effort and the passion. I'm putting in me, me being consistent, prolific, and dedicated. I don't know how many different ways I got to say this. We have to work together. We have to come to a crossroads. And, you know, there's only a couple of ways that this can go. Either I keep going and I keep flowing or I have to leave because I'll be let go. That's how bad this has got. I want to do this. I love this. But making this a job right now is as far out as it's ever been. Bad times. Bad times. And when someone's pushed against the wall, sometimes you react very differently. So... We'll see what happens. It's up to the viewers and subscribers. It's now up to you, viewers and subscribers. It's in your hands. My YouTube future is in your hands. We got to start liking, sharing, subscribing, and viewing. That's what, that's what interaction. Realized, recognized, and respected will your comments to this channel and your contributions. Thank you very much for watching Sean's View Entertainment. I'm only one guy. I'm only one person. I can't do this alone. Subscribe.